hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video i'm going to explain you about how you calculate the rank of a given matrix by using the echelon form so this echelon form is not only for square matrices you can also apply to what do we say rectangular matrices also and by using echelon form you will also be calculating the uh, unknown value so like that we have different problems in echelon form in this video i'll explain how to calculate rank for a 4 by 4 matrix in the next video i'll explain how to calculate rank for a 4 by 5 or 5 by 4 matrix and then unknown values like that each problem each video i will explain okay so let's get into the video now basically you know what is a rank rank is nothing but what non-zero rows number of non-zero rows are called as the rank so what you have to do is by doing some elementary row operations you need to make number of possible terms as zero okay once you make number of possible terms as zero then how many non-zero terms non-zero rows you will have that is called as the echelon form so basically what you have to do is first as soon as you see the matrix you need to identify the diagonal so for this di diagonal is 2 2 7 minus 1 these are the diagonal elements right so once you identify the diagonal all the elements below the diagonal that is all these elements which i have underlined all these elements this one also of course okay all these elements which are below the diagonal should become zeros you have to do row operations in such a way that all these elements below the diagonal should become zero okay once these elements become zero then you can calculate then you can stop the process at that time and you can calculate the number of non-zero rows so how to make those uh, elements zero i'll tell you okay first see first let us concentrate on this 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 three elements so first let us try to make them zero so basically how do you make it zero so in order to make zero as four what you need to do four minus four you have to do right so how you can get this four r1 into two that is if you do like r2 is equal to r2 minus 2r1 that is r2 is nothing but what 4 minus 2 into r1 2 into r1 is nothing but 2 into 2 okay so that is how you can make this element as 0 next how do you make it as 0 in order to make 8 as 0 we need 8 minus 8 how do you get 8 from here 4 into 2 is 8 right so 4 into r1 you have to do here so r3 tends to r3 becomes r3 minus 4 r1 done next r4 also same 8 right so same thing we can do r4 now don't bother about this term or this term this term don't bother about them whether they are becoming zero or they are becoming more positive numbers or negative numbers don't bother about that our first goal is to make these three things zero okay now so r4 tends to r4 minus 4 r1 now what this matrix will become so the first one will be as it is 2 1 3 5 done next r2 r2 minus 2 r1 right so 4 minus where shall i do that yeah 4 minus 2 into 2 so 4 minus 4 you get 0 next 2 2 minus 2 into 1 so 2 minus 2 you get 0 next 1 minus 1 minus 2 into 3 you get 1 minus 6 you get minus 5 okay instead of 1 we got minus 5 the matrix is changing nothing will happen okay because you are applying the operation to the entire row right nothing will happen here also 3 minus 2 into 5 that is 3 minus 10 which is minus 7 okay so r2 is changed done set next r3 so for r3 what you have to do r3 minus 4 r1 right so r3 is 8 8 minus 4 r1 is nothing but 4 into 2 which is nothing but 8 minus 8 0 done next 4 minus 4 into 1 because r3 is r3 minus 4 r1 right 4 minus 4 into 1 which is 4 minus 4 which is 0 again next 7 7 minus 4 into 3 so 7 minus 4 into 3 7 minus 12 you get minus 5 okay next 13 minus 4 into 5 so 4 into 5 is 20 13 minus 5 you get minus 7 right so okay minus 7 
next r4 so for r4 how you will do 8 minus 4 into 2 is nothing but 8 minus 8 0 again because it is also 4 r1 next 4 minus 4 into 1 which is nothing but 0 again minus 3 minus 3 minus 4 into 3 that is minus 3 minus 4 into 3 so minus 3 is sorry minus 4 th into 3 is minus 12 minus 3 minus 12 you get minus 15 right next minus 1 minus 4 into 5 nothing but minus 1 minus 4 into 5 minus 1 minus 20 which is minus 21 okay na done we got our sorry this is minus 21 so we got our matrix so after applying these three operations we got a matrix like this so what did we do here we got so now again let us identify the diagonal so this is the diagonal right so all the elements below the diagonal are zeros yes except this one so now our target is to make this one as zero so once we make this one as zero we are done right we have another possibility here what is that possibility see r2 r3 they are same right so now what you can do is you can make any one of them as zero so most probably the lower ones should become zero okay so you can make r3 also as zero because both of them are equal you can subtract both of them then obviously you get zero so it is not that only the lower elements the, the elements below the diagonal should become zero that is a mandatory condition along with that if there are any possibilities that you can make zeros you can do that got it so now what are the operations that we are going to apply r3 is will become r3 minus r2 and r4 will become r4 minus 5 into 3 is 15 right so 3 r3 okay na or 3 r2 also you can do anything okay let us take r2 because r3 will become 0 so r1 as it is 2 1 3 5 second row also as it is mm, next r3 key so for r3 we are doing some changes right so what are the changes r3 minus r2 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 again 0 minus 5 minus of minus 5 so it is minus 5 plus 5 0 next minus 7 minus of minus 7 minus 7 plus 7 so you get 0 done next 0 minus 0 0 minus 3 into 0 is also again 0 right again 0 minus 0 is 0 next what is our operation r4 minus 3 into r2 so what is r4 minus 15 minus 15 minus 3 into what is r2 minus 5 okay so minus 15 minus 3 into minus 5 is plus 15 so you got 0 minus 21 minus 3 into r2 is minus 7 right so you get minus 21 plus 21 cancel 0 right so we got all the elements below the diagonal as zero so we can stop we are done so in that process we got r3 also as zero so that is why how many zero rows you are having this is a zero row and this is also a zero row so how many non-zero rows only two right so the rank will be equal to two this is how you will calculate the rank using echelon form echelon form basically as soon as you see echelon form you have to identify the diagonal all the elements below the diagonal should become zero that is a mandatory condition and apart from that if you are still able to make any rows or any uh, any rows zeros then you can make them okay done this is about this video uh, just let me know your feedback in the comment section whether you are understanding or not like that okay so let's meet up in the next coming video in the next video i'll also again echelon problem only i will ex echelon form only i'll explain but that will be about four into five matrix how you will be applying echelon form for a four into five matrix i'll explain in that video okay done so that's all for this video if you're still having any doubts apart from this just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section Let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic.